Hello everyone, I'm Allison with Green Goddess Plants and Seeds and welcome to today's garden chat. So um, I think all of my seed orders have finally arrived. Um, so I just thought I would do a, just another really quick and fun unboxing of my seeds. Uh, it's been a, February's been a long month. Um, it's always a hard one for me to get through. So I will be glad when February is over and we're into March because once we're into March, that's when I do the bulk of my, my planting and I'm anxious to do that. I'm anxious to get my garden growing already. I know, as I know, a lot of gardeners already are. You know, my, my seeds in the living room, my pepper seeds, my thyme seeds, and the onions that I started are all doing very well. They're all looking good. So I'm hoping for a really good gardening year this year. So this first seed order, this is from TNT Seeds in, in uh, Manitoba. I do their their catalog is always the first one to arrive at my in my mailbox. So I always look forward to seeing what they have on offer. All right, so TNT Seeds. I think I ordered mostly flower seeds from the, them this year. All right, so there's all my invoices. Keep those handy. So I've got peppermint stick zinnias. I grew zinnias for the la first time last year and I was actually quite surprised. And they grew, they were very easy to grow. They were beautiful. They, they just looked stunning. They were nice and tall and they were um, very hardy. I was very happy with them. And I'm like, why have I, why have I never grown zinnias before? Because they, I just loved them. So and this one is a petunia. This one is called Tickled Pink. So this one feels like it's got a little, I'm not just gonna open this, just to show you how sometimes, like petunia seed is like dust. I don't know if you've, if you've ever tried to grow it, but it is like dust. And sometimes the seed will come pelleted and sometimes not. I'm just gonna see what they've got the seeds in, in here. Because this said there's only 20 seeds. <laughs> I don't know if you can even see what's in there, but there's 20 really tiny pellet. These these are these have been pelleted. So basically, they've taken the petunia seed and they've just put a an outer coating on them, um, just to make them easier to handle. So that's what those look like. I'll just set those aside. You want to mix those up with anything else? <laughs> What else did I order? More zinnias. These are the Zahara Starlight Rose zinnias. This is, oh, the Kabloom Calabrocha. Sorry, I'm, I'm probably butchering the pronunciation of these, but these, these look very similar to, to petunias, but they're not quite exactly the same. This, this was a mix. This was supposed to have like three different colors in it. So that'll be nice to get going. And one of the things I want to try with this this year is normally when I start my petunias, I start them in like cell packs and I'll just scatter the seeds or something. But what I thought I would do this year, since these are, do have pellets. Yes, so this is more pelleted seed. Yeah, so each pellet contains three seeds. So what I was planning to do with these was to direct sow these into some hanging baskets and just so that I'm not having to transplant them so that they can just grow fully into the basket. So I'm gonna try that this year and see how that works with these ones. And the last one is, oh, these are the evening sensation. These are petunias as well. I found these, was it two years ago? They were something really new. Um, a lot of people don't realize that petunias are actually, or some petunias are actually scented. Usually it's the, the blue ones, like the Super Cascade Blue and the Blue Daddies have a really lovely fragrance. And so what this evening sensation, what they've done is they've actually developed it to actually have the scent. Because petunias are actually quite scent. They have a really lovely scent. So. I really enjoyed these the first time I grew them two years ago, so I thought I would give them a try by starting them from seed myself. So this, this again has 20 seeds, and it feels like it's in another one of those little tubes with the with the pellets, so happy with that. And then this was my free 
Oh, this wasn't free. This was, um, well, these are my ox heart tomatoes. Yes. Yes, ox heart tomatoes. This is another variety that um, my grandmother used to grow all the time. So it's kind of kind of kind of a throwback to her, kind of a little bit of a you know nostalgia in terms of my of my tomatoes. I I might save seeds from these. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. But yes, yeah, so those are my my seeds from 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 T and T. So next up we have this is these are this is my order from William Dam. So the stuff I ordered from these guys, I ordered larger amounts because we're, my partner Glenn and I are, are gonna be doing, or we're gonna try to start a market garden this, this summer. So what I ordered from these guys, I ordered in slightly larger amounts. So I was just trying to plan for that market garden a little bit. Okay, make sure there's nothing else in there. So I have bush beans. These are the jade, jade bush beans. So I thought they would be a nice crop to have in summertime to sell at the market. We have chief um, broccoli. I've never grown broccoli or cauliflower. So this is gonna be something new. It's a new adventure for me, growing this stuff. I'm gonna have to read up on, on how to actually care for it. So that's chief hybrid broccoli. We've got Minuteman Hybrid Cauliflower. Yes, another 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 new item for me in the garden. This is I've never grown them before, so it's might be interesting. But I'm hoping they do well out, out at the farm. I know my garden needs. I think it needs to be left to go fallow for the for the summer this year, and just try and build up some of the um, organic matter in it. But so I'm hoping these things do really well out the, out of the garden. Oh, and I um more cabbage. So this is a Tierra cabbage. So this is everything I've got here is supposed to be um early. There's supposed there's supposed to be early maturing varieties because we're in an early garden, so you might as well grow stuff that's going to mature early. So this is cabbage. Tierra cabbage. I'm looking forward to that. This one says maturity down. This one is 60 days. So that looked good to me. And then we've got Baltimore hybrid carrots. So we're probably gonna have lots of carrot seeds up, up at the farm this year. Lots of carrots for the market. These ones, these uh, Baltimore carrots are more of a storage carrot. So they're not, so they're meant to be stored over the winter kind of thing. So I'm hoping they grow well and sell well. We have um, zucchini. This is the Spineless Beauty Hybrid. Uh, maturity date on these is 43 days, so we're hoping that that goes well. And then yellowfin or get hybrid yellow zucchini, because you gotta have the yellows. Uh, and the maturity date on this one is 48 days, so. And then one of my fa absolute favorite things to grow in the garden are pumpkins. I love pumpkins. So this is the Connecticut Field. Um, Connecticut Field is a heirloom. Um, I can't remember exactly how far back it dates. I know it probably goes back to at least 1900s, I think, even probably before that. But Connecticut, Connecticut Field is a really good all-purpose pumpkin. They get big enough so that you can they make great jack-o'-lanterns, so great for carving, but they're also good for cooking. So they're good for, you know, baking into stews or soups or, or, or whatever, or turning into, you know, um, you know, pumpkin bread or pumpkin muffins. So they're, they're multi-purpose, the, the Connecticut field. So I love pumpkins. And then the other, my other absolute favorite for the garden are marigolds. These are the Cracker Jack marigolds. These are my favorites. They get nice and tall and I will interplant these throughout my garden in the city. They will go in with the tomatoes. They'll go in everywhere. I absolutely love them because they're so bright and colorful and they just, they look wonderful. So I'm glad to have those. Because sometimes there's, a, there were a couple of um, websites that said that they were sold out. So yeah, I'm, I'm glad I got them when I did. So and the last order that came in finally was a, another order from Baker Creek. Yes, everyone is raving about Baker Creek Heirlooms. And, and for good reason. They are a really good company. I, I really like what they stand for. So, so this, this is 
my order from Baker Creek. Let's see, what do we got here? Oh my goodness, we got all sorts of things. <laughs> okay, this is something that I've never grown before. And then when I saw the pictures of it, I thought, wow, that's kind of cool. It's called um, Honeywort Kiwi Blue. It's supposed to be an old European variety. And it's supposed to get these, like the flowers, there's a the picture of it. I'm told the, the flowers are actually quite small, but that they, they do attract bees, honeybees, and they're good for the bees. So, you know, Glenn has, has honeybees, so I'm hoping that maybe I can plant some of these out at, out at the farm and that they will be beneficial for the honeybees. Next up we have the Anaheim pepper. So we, we last year we grew tons and tons and tons of pe peppers. And what we ended up doing with, with them at the end of the season was we threw them all into the dehydrator, you know, dried them all out and then put them in the blender and just ground them up, up into a powder. So, in, so everything, including the Anaheims went in there. So, but we're hoping, or at least I'm hoping, I don't know, can't speak for anyone else, but I'm hoping to sell maybe a few peppers at, at the market this year. Um, Oh, these are, this is another, it's an heirloom type of zucchini called Costa, Costa Romanesco. It's a striped zucchini. That's something new that I haven't tried before in the garden. Uh, this, this is another pepper that looked interesting to me. Um, it's called Jigsaw. I like the variegation on the leaves that it has and just the multicolor of the peppers looks really cool. So this is a hot pepper. And I just thought it just looks so cool. This would be really stunning and, and probably in like flower beds even. It's just so colorful and lovely. Uh, another tomato. <laughs> I'm I'm just really into the tomato. So this is white tomasol tomato. Um, and I also like, one of the other things I really love in the garden are sunflowers. So I ordered, ordered the Hopi black dye sunflower. So I'm hoping this does well. Just, just, I'm not planning to, to dye anything yet. I'm not even planning to eat the seeds. I just like to see the sunflowers blooming. You know, anytime that I've planted sunflowers in my city garden before, I just let the birds have the seeds because, you know, I was, I was never intending to collect them. I just wanted to see the flowers bloom. So, um, these are purple, print, purple prince zinnias. Again, I'm more zinnias. I'm having a wonderful time growing zinnias. Uh, more golden zucchini, so we're going to have <laughs> lots of zucchini, apparently. But um, that said, I, I don't have to start all of the seeds all at once. You know, I can save some of these for next year. They, they will keep till next year. Um, what is this? Oh, this is Boston Pickling Cucumber. Uh, Canada Crookneck Squash. This is another, I think I ordered this one from Heritage Harvest as well, so... I'm hoping to have another go at these. I hope they, if I plant them out at the farm, that they will do better than in the city. Uh, oh, these are Jamaican Scotch bonnet peppers. Lovely hot, 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 hot peppers. So I'm hoping those do well. I planted them last year, but they didn't seem to do well. Mind you, we had we had a really crappy summer last year. So um, oh, this is called the Honey Boat Delecta squash. Apparently, I'm, I'm planning to grow lots of squash and, and uh, zucchinis this year. I'm hoping this is another one that we can sell at the market. Um, oh, Giant Perfection Asters. I've always wanted to grow asters. They've always looked so lovely and so pretty. So I'm going to have a go at the asters this year. And then we have... Oh, this is uh, Pippin's Golden Honey Sweet Pepper. Uh, unfortunately, it's just a generic package. They don't have anything that shows the the um, peppers, but they they're really multicolored almost, and they're they're almost um, oh they're almost they're almost like shade honey shades of oranges and reds and yellows, and they're they're just really really pretty looking pepper. I thought that was really good. And it's a sweet pepper too, so I thought that would be nice. It, would look really fabulous in in a salad or something. So another tomato, gotta have tomatoes. Uh, this is Dr. Weichi's yellow. I've heard so much about this. I've heard a, a few people on other YouTube, you know, video blogs that have been raving about the Dr. Weichi's yellow. Dr. Weichi or Dr. Witchies, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but it's the one that I've heard a lot about. So I thought, you know, I gotta try that. See what See what all the commotion is about. Uh, another zinnia. This is a macarena. 
You know, I love the autumn colors in the back of, of this variety, so that's why I ordered that. Um, and then the last one we have is the Tobago seasoning pepper. So we got lots of pepper ha peppers happening. You know, I've got peppers started, but you know what? I can always start more. It's still early enough that I can start more peppers, so that's not a problem. And, ooh, <laughs> more Japanese giant red mustard. So, yay, lots of mustard coming. <laughs> anyway, so that was the last of my seed orders. It's going to be a fabulous gardening year. I think everything's going to just come together just perfectly at least, at least i'm hoping you know we always got to have that 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 positive hope right that things are going to work out so so i thank you for joining me for today's seed unboxing and i hope you're having a wonderful day and and uh until next time <laughs>